What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Josh here with PlanetChinchilla.com and today's video is going to be all about some of the hidden benefits that you may not be aware about when you use a chinchilla playpen. As always guys, if you're enjoying this content, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below, like the video, subscribe to the channel. And now let's go ahead and start diving into those hidden benefits of playpens that a lot of people are not aware of when it comes to owning and raising a chinchilla. Hey guys, real quick, something I always forget to mention in my videos is we do have a new ebook that was released back in March. It is a complete care guide for any of you who are new to owning a chinchilla. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time right now covering everything that's in the ebook, but it is definitely worth your attention if you are a new chinchilla owner. I will put the link in the description below. It is a ebook. Download it on any device, read it, be sure to go check it out. A lot of the times we're running a 50% off promo take advantage of that promo if it is running i don't think you guys will be disappointed with the quality of the ebook and all of the tips tricks and just everything you need to know about raising one of these chinchillas so again link in the description below it'll also come down right across your screen right here if you want to manually type it into google whatever the case may be be sure to go check out that ebook all right guys we are back and here to talk about these play pens once again how beneficial they can be for your chinchilla in so many different ways we've got chili out we had to do a little cage cleaning today it's also a good time just to let her get a dust bath in so i'm going to jump into the playpen right now we'll start interacting with her and start discussing some of these benefits of these playpens that you can enjoy okay guys so for the benefits of these playpens i want to cover five i think that there's five key benefits to these playpens that is often not discussed enough. There might be a couple additional benefits that fall within one of these categories that I'm gonna discuss, but for the most part, I'm thinking about five big main benefits when it comes to these play pins, why I love it, why I recommend it, and why they're just so darn awesome for these chinchillas. All right guys, so reason number one on why these play pins are essential <laughs> why they can help you so much and what a lot of people I think understand but don't really grasp how big of a benefit these can be is just how important playtime is for a chinchilla in general. So if you don't have a second chinchilla, I do not, I just have chili here. It's been that way for quite a while. Probably shouldn't have my diet Pepsi out here for. The only social interaction these guys are gonna get if that's the situation is you and the chinchilla. I mean, they're by themselves. Hopefully you have a nice cage, whatever the case may be, but outside of that, they're chilling by themselves. Right, Chili? She's probably mad at me even talking about it right now. What'd you do to your fur, man? Did you just like fur slip without even... Man, sometimes she isn't. We'll figure that out later. So anyways, playtime, hugely important and beneficial for your chinchilla for their sanity for their boredom for their overall just mental health they are a social animal they need to come out of the cage yes there's plenty of days that you can leave them in there if you're busy but you don't want to adopt a chinchilla just to have an animal that you have to clean a cage and so they sit in a room and do nothing i mean it a that's just stupid and b i mean where's the fun in it at that point so if that's the situation you're working with what a better way to make sure that you can interact with these guys closely than being inside of one of these play pins. A, it's going to force us to be closer to each other. B, it just makes the playtime that much easier. I don't have a ton of work I have to do on my end to get her out. I don't really have a lot of prepping, which we'll talk about in a minute when it comes to chinchilla proofing. I can just get her out, let her have some fun in here. Yes, it is smaller than having the entire basement at her disposal. Nobody's going to argue that, but do I think that she's less happy because she's in here? Absolutely not. She's perfectly fine using this. I've been doing it for almost five years. I don't think I'm gonna have anybody in the comments that's gonna argue that. It works just fine, makes it easy, and lets you cross that one huge task off your list, which is just interacting, loving, and playing with these guys if you're gonna decide to adopt one. If you guys notice these plastic legs that are sitting in here, I'm gonna be straight up 
transparent with you. That is a tripod with another camera on it. I'm just using that in case she does something really cool and I miss it while I have the camera on my face instead of her. So that is what you're seeing whenever you see those legs sitting in here. It's just another camera. Make sure she doesn't jump out of here on me. Considering I have all the doors to the house open if she was able to get out. What, do you want some of these sheets? We'll sit them back there so I don't fall over. Okay guys, reason number two, the hidden benefit of a playpen is the ability to keep your chinchilla safe, which we just kind of talked about a second ago, but if you are going to let a chinchilla run around free roam in another room, you have to chinchilla proof it first. Otherwise, I wouldn't try it, but otherwise it could kill them. You wanna make sure that there's not electrical cords, that there's not anything toxic they can get their hands on, paws on, whatever you wanna call it, claws on, and that there's not anything that they can ingest. There's no way they can escape from the house, that there's no way another animal can get to them, tons of things. But a playpen removes that task from your to-do list when you get home after you've adopted your chinchilla. You don't have to proof anything as long as it is zipped up. So with two seconds of putting the playpen together, a little bit of common sense, you're done. All you have to do is get in here, let them out of the cage, and start having some fun and start building the bond with them. It's really that easy and a benefit I think a lot of people overlook. Okay guys, reason number three, and I love this reason. This is one of my favorite favorite, favorite reasons about using a playpen for these guys. I talk about it on planetchinchilla.com all the time. I rave about this reason, but for all of the people who have a chinchilla right now, or all the people wanting to adopt one and they're scared about building a bond, or are they ever going to let me hold them? Or are they ever going to let me pet them? Sometimes the answer is no, or not very often. They just don't always like it. And it takes time warming up to them. But here's the kicker. A really quick way to get them to warm up to you is to get the playpen because she doesn't have that option to just run away from me in here. She either likes me or she doesn't, but she has no option but to interact with me. So let's say she doesn't like me in the beginning. I mean, that may have been the case, but I'm not making this up, people. Like, I'm not the chinchilla whisperer here, but she's figured it out. She seems to be just fine interacting with me in here, and it just builds the bond faster. They don't have that luxury of taking off or hiding under an end table, which shouldn't be happening anyways, but it forces that closeness. It gets you warmed up to them faster, even though it really looks like she's plotting her escape right now. She wants out of here real bad. <laughs> but it's a, it's a huge benefit, and it's... So, she tried to walk on the camera. It is something that... For all of the people who are very scared about never getting that interaction or that kind of relationship with a chinchilla, the answer is sitting right in front of you, and I wouldn't recommend it if it wasn't. It can help a ton. Go eat some, go eat some oats, man. Go do something fun. You're always making me look stupid on camera. You never do anything. This is why we don't have more subscribers. It's on you, not me. Okay. Number four, the next thing that I really like about the play pens is they are just fun. It, I like the fact that I can not necessarily pick her up freely whenever I want. She still might get a little upset at that, but I like that half of the time that she's in here, she's jumping on me. It's what makes a chinchilla so fun to own are those little things that are often overlooked. It's the this, just sitting on my leg or jumping on my shoulder or looking like she's gonna try and escape, which she very well may be trying to do that, but this is when their personality gets to come out. Otherwise, again, it, it's just an animal inside of a cage at that point if you don't ever do these things. So instead of trying to chase them around and get those things to happen, this just makes it more fun. We're close to each other. I get to be, you know, 18 inches away from her dust bath. I get to hand feed her oats give her some treats, get good video footage of her, whatever the case may be. The playpen just makes life easy and more fun if you own a chinchilla, period. Okay, I'm sure you guys will love reason number five. I like it, but I'm also a little bit OCD, or a lot, whatever you guys, however you guys wanna spin it. But reason number five is these things are so easy to clean. It's this plastic felt stuff. 
whatever, I don't even know, but it's safe for the chinchilla. There is dust everywhere in here right now. It's all over me, it's on her paws. I, she even peed over here in one of the corners. But it is easy to clean. When I get her out, I will put her dust bath away. I will seal up the oats, I will put the treats away. And then I will shot vacuum out all of the debris, dust, treats, poop, whatever the case may be with whatever she's done in here for that day. I'll clean it up and then I will wipe it down. I'm done. I don't have dust tracks all over the floor to go chase down or swift her up. I don't have poop to find. I know where the poop is because she hasn't gone anywhere else. So with that being said, I think that it's fair to say that these are not only better for interacting, safer, build a bond faster, but they're just easier from every angle. They're easier to clean, just awesome in general. Okay guys, one thing I do wanna point out that I haven't said so far in this video is that if you have a safe space for your chinchilla, like a wide open area and it's completely safe and they do awesome in it, you don't have to go get a playpen. I don't really care if you get a playpen or what you wanna do for the playtime. As long as it's safe and it works for you, use it. If you can give them more space and they love it, don't change a thing. You're doing awesome then. For me, I have a basement that I could let her use, and I do. I used to do it all the time. And like the very first videos on this channel, that's all she did. And it still would work fine today. But for my situation for these videos, is it is a pain to trot around following her around trying to get good footage because she'll go behind something or then run under something. That doesn't mean that it's not safe. It's just a pain for me. So I love using this specifically for videos but I used to use it all the time before videos were even part of Planet Chinchilla's YouTube channel or the website, just because it, a lot of the times if I needed to do a quick playtime, it was so much easier to use it. So keep that in mind. I'm not saying that anybody who doesn't have one of these is failing as a chinchilla owner. I'm just saying that they're often overlooked as a tool to use as a chinchilla owner and they should not be for how little they cost and how many benefits they provide. Guys, I also want to point out that there is another, she's trying to hide on the other camera here. There is another video on this channel where I break down the best play pins. I'm not going to sit and make this some kind of advertisement for which play pin to get. If you want to know my recommendations, head on over to that video. It's the best chinchilla play pins. This one right here, so you guys are aware, I will break this one down real quick. It is just the Jess Pet 61 inch play pin. I've been using it for four years, no problems with it. I will put the link in the description below, but be advised when you use that link, it is an affiliate link. So whenever you do buy it, you are giving Planet Chinchilla a cut of that sale through Amazon. I just wanna be 100% transparent with that. Don't use the link, doesn't matter to me. I just wanna put it down there as a resource, not as a go buy this today for us. But if you do, it's obviously appreciated. Now she's hiding guys. She's like, camera time, I am out of here sick of you using me just to make videos for this channel okay guys hopefully those five benefits really broke down why i love these playpins why you always see the same scenery in my videos what makes them so unique and a special tool to me as a chinchilla owner i hope it helped you guys in some way if you don't have one and you're already rocking your own system more power to you keep doing it if you don't and you do get one and it works out awesome for you, be sure to come back, let us know in the comments below which one you got, how awesome it's been, and what kind of activities you're doing with your chinchilla inside of it. And as always guys, if you've liked this video, give me and Chili a big thumbs up. Chili loves when you give the thumbs up, it makes her happy for making the videos with us. Subscribe to the channel, drop a comment below if you have some kind of video that you want us to make in the future, we're happy to do that. And again, make sure you check out planetchinchilla.com. Check out that ebook for any of you who are new chinchilla owners. I think it'll help all of you a lot. If you are, again, the link is in the description below. Otherwise, me and Chili, as always, appreciate you guys coming by, and we will see you in the next video. Take care. Mm -hmm.